Hey everybody, I'm going to talk to you about some windows. There's so much mystery surrounding windows. There's a lot of windows to choose from out there. You got your wood windows, you have vinyl, uh, vinyl clad, aluminum clad, even composite windows on the upper end now. But what I want to dive into right here is kind of pulling the bail off of the mystery surrounding windows and how to do maybe some replacements or, you know, specifically right now we're going to be talking about wood windows. Sorry, my nose itches. But right here, let, let me just kind of show you what is confusing about this stuff. So just to cover a little bit of the anatomy is you got your window sill right here and this is uh, would be considered some of the casing underneath of it and this is the, the casing on brighten it up over for you that's the casing it goes along the top and then down the side right here all that would be the casing so here's where it kind of gets confusing what are we looking at right here there's so many lines going on you got this section you got this section and that section there and then finally you got your window see i'm, I'm sorry your window uh god what in the world is all this going on here will uh, allow me to explain. This would be your window casing. So all of this is one piece. And then this, you can actually see a nail right there. This is actually, this little piece right here, that strip is called your window stop. And essentially what that does is it holds that window aligned in place right here. This is your window stool and it ends at that seam. So if you take this off, then this would be one piece and your window stool here would be one piece as well. And let's see if I can get it. Yeah, so you see there's a gap down here as well. Normally you'd want that covered up with caulk so the rain didn't hit the window and get up in there somehow. Um, but again, this house was built in about 1950s, uh, circa 1953, I believe. And got some bugs flying around. And it's really hard to get everything looking perfectly as they did back in the day because there's so much craftsmanship going on there. One of the things that's hard to match is this is a one inch piece and there's a three quarter inch piece, but uh, let's, get, let's get away from those kinds of details because I'm already going to overload you with some window stuff, which is a mystery in itself. So let's, let's transition from a full window, something that's already built, not taken apart yet, something that's standing in place <clears throat> and let's transition over to one that i've got taken apart right here <clears throat> so you can see here's that window casing i was talking about that's your trim piece that's your one solid piece and notice i've taken this one off so we can look at it and i've got it right behind me here All right, so if I put that piece back up in here, like so, you'll see that if I put it all the way up, there we go. If I put it all the way up in there, it matches there. So your window stool would go in this space and off right here. Okay, so let's, let's compare that again so you can see what that looks like on this other window without tearing the house apart any further okay so see right here this would be your your window stop what i just described to you and this would be your window stool so that stool is taking up this space take that and go right here and that's where your window stool would go in there i hope that makes sense and again, this one push up a little farther into there so that you would meet the bottom. But that is one separate piece. Let's set that off to the side now. And look at this. So I measured this earlier. It's hard to get a tape in here and show you at the same time while I'm holding this uh, camera. But if you measure from here all the way over to there, you get 36 inches. And that is a standard window width. That is good. 36 inches from here. To there so if you were to order replacement windows that is uh, 36 wide would be what you would order and what you'd probably get now is like a sash uh, replacement kit which would take the place of this now notice I'm not gonna pull this whole window out 
but notice how easy it is for me to come in here and just wiggle this around. That's good. That's what you want to see. Notice there's two screw holes in here. That was just from holding the sash in there so it didn't wiggle out while we were doing work on it. Um, normally that wouldn't show. That would be something that would, would not be done in the first place. But these are these windows are getting replaced anyway. That was a temporary fix for uh, pulling them out later and putting some new ones in. So if, this, if these windows were staying in here, those holes wouldn't be there. There would be a better solution for that. All right, so notice how I can pull this out. This whole board goes behind this um, guide here. That's just flexible plastic. And hopefully you can see where it comes out right in there. That's wood back in there if you can't see that. I'm trying to open that lens up for you. There you go. You can see the wood back in there. And notice this piece. This is what's called a blind stop. And from the outside... You can actually gather the measurement from that window from the outside because this this is brick molding right here a measurement from here to the other side of the same point of that brick molding would give you the same measurement that we got from in here which would be that 36 inches so again that would be your measurement if you measure up and down here it comes out to 50 inches which is also a good measurement. Normally if you get like 49 and three quarters or something that, like that, you would know how to order your windows because that 49 and three quarters would wind up being that 50 inches. There's one other thing I wanna show you and let me set this on a, a tripod right here so you can see it a little better. Some other tools that you might consider using uh, as far as tape measures goes, you saw me measuring with this one right here. Notice this is a 3-foot tape and this is a 30-foot tape. So notice the difference between how big those are. You know, that's like an eighth or a fourth or whatever of that bigger tape. This will allow you to get down into the, the smaller nooks and crannies in case this one doesn't work. And here's what I mean by that. Let's say you got a... Some of the windows we have now don't have this wide guide in here. Um, so what you can do is take this tape measure and get into this, maybe a smaller gap here. And you just stick this smaller tape right in there in the middle of it and pull it all the way across. They're kind of hard to work with because they're so flexible and small. There we go. And just kind of stuff it back up in there and you're, again you're going to round up to that measurement to see what you're looking at so right now we're looking at that three foot and we'll pull it around here to see if you can see what I'm doing put that one back up in there it's tied against that guide you can see how it's kind of curving. Well, I can see that it's landing right there on that three foot line. So that I would call that a 36 inch window or a three foot window. When you go to replace these, what they're looking for is a, um, I forget what they call the measurement, but instead of a 36 inch window, which is three feet, it would be a 3-0 window. That means three feet, zero inches <clears throat> window. And that's the kind of measurement that they would um, transpose that into. So if you had, uh, let's say, uh, a 24 inch window, you would say a 2-0 window. Or if you had uh, 20, what could be, a 30 inch window, it would be a 2-6 window because that would be two feet, six inch window. So that's kind of how the thinking goes around replacing windows. Some of the little tools that you can use to do it. Some locations that you can measure from. You saw me measuring from the inside a while ago. Now we're measuring from the outside over here. And, you know, whenever I take measurements now, it's from, you know, the blind stop to the blind stop. Because <clears throat> normally, again, that's where your jams are. But I think that pretty much covers everything uh, that we need to 
really basically cover with windows. Each one is different. So you'll just have to keep in mind for each one that you go into. Again, this one's different because this is a wood window. This house was built circle 1953. So what we would do is just pull these out and we would be able to place the trim back on and put some sash replacements in here, put some compression replacements, or really just put the tracks in there. And uh, then at that time, now they make windows techno technologically superior to this one to where you have the click locks at top. So you'd have contraptions to put those in and contraptions to put those in at the bottom. You could have these things uh, stripped in 30 seconds with the new technology that we have out. Had the new ones in there in about the same amount of time, uh, depending on if you had the materials on site and all the logistics that go into that as well. But that's kind of some insight again as to what we're looking at here. And I hope this helped. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to give me a call, message me, contact me, email me, anything. I'd be really happy to help you guys out. And if I don't have an answer for you, then I'm definitely going to try my best to do that because, again, we're always learning. We're always growing, we're always getting in the forward direction. And that's just kind of like my thought and philosophy on pretty much life. And so I bring that to the business and it works. Uh, but anyway, I won't take up any more of your time. God bless you guys. Have a good day. Do good with Windows.